Welcome to Food Buffet Report. You know what my favorite type of buffet is? My favorite buffet food? Indian food. How did you know? Well, whenever I do a show, I like to research my guests, and the research has led to that. Wait a second. I'm not your guest. Oh, a host, whatever. We're co-hosts, and we've been doing this for uh, three months now. So. Oh. So you're not a guest? I'm not a guest. I'm a co-host. Oh. And I don't think it says anywhere on the internet that I like Indian buffets, so I don't know how you did your research. This is an Indian restaurant that you found, right? Yes. It's in Baltimore. Called Namaste. Is it Namaste? I think so. Never been, but we were able to capture, these are pre-pandemic, right? So we captured the essence of the buffet. Anything buffet related is pre-pandemic. Anyways, this looks like the main dining room. There's a lot going on here that we can talk about. I don't even know where to start. Why don't you start with the guy standing at the buffet? I, I think that on this particular night, I don't know what night, anyone that brings a red balloon with helium gets to eat for free. So what he's done over there, he's brought his small helium balloon and they have like a, before he goes to the buffet, he tied it up on a little, it's a little tie up area there for the helium balloon. So it doesn't float up into the ceiling by bringing that helium balloon, the red helium balloon entitles him to one free pass at the buffet. So he didn't hold the balloon because he needs both hands. A buffet is a, two-handed deal. Maybe it's tied around his wrist. How could it be around his wrist? It's so far away. Maybe there's a fan nearby and it's blowing it away from him. I think it's attached to the the kind of like when you when you when you if you were to ride a horse, you'd tie it up. Same thing. He brought that balloon and he tied it up. Is it tied to the chafing dish? Maybe one of the legs. I can't tell what sort of legs those chafing dishes have. That's not um, compliant with the CDC, the chafing dish code. Whatever. He brought a balloon. He could, Something he could doesn't spray. feel right, and I think I just figured out what it is. You know what it is? What? Usually I have my chair turned this way. Like this? Yeah, but it just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel the same here. Well, I know, because you're at your grandma's house. Well. Why are you so, that, that dresser behind you, it really, it looks like it's, looks, the angle makes it look gigantic. Like, you're, it feels like the room is slanted. You're like down in like a hole. <laughs> like you're down. Well, it is quite tall. If I was to stand, if I was to stand near it, hold on. Did you unpack your clothes and put them in the drawers? Yeah, it is gigantic. Right here. Yeah. See, from the looks of it, it looked like a small dresser that went up to your waist, but it's large. Wow. That's really an elegant room. Is that a two-star hotel? I thought it was my grandmother's house. Is it? I don't know. It looks like it, but... Well, yeah. You're the only one that checked in and you, you know, researched to find a hotel with an eerie picture of a somebody from the 1600s <laughs> over the <laughs> in front of the couch. There's not even a t- TV there. It's like you sit in that couch and you look at the lady and wrap that blanket around you. That place is haunted. You've checked into a haunted Canadian hotel. Are we are we just going to talk about this room instead of talking about the buffet? Let's talk more about the buffet. So we've established it's balloon night. He's getting a free pass at the buffet. He's on chafing dish number one. He wore black clothes, which is smart because you can slop shit all over yourself at a buffet. Indian food has a lot of you know, sauces, and you're guaranteed to get stuff on your outfit. So he wore an outfit black. No worries. He didn't wear whatever peach-colored shirt like you. He's got a black outfit. 
and he brought his balloon. And there's no line there either. He's first in line. He probably is the only one in the restaurant. Maybe he got there early because he knew it was balloon night. What about those towels hanging up there? Look at those. Well, I don't think those are towels. Are they scarves? Those hooks look like a place to hang your coat instead of putting it on your chair. So you go and you hang your coat on that hook, but I think those are all the articles of clothing that people have left behind. So that is, in effect, become the lost and found. Interesting. Look at that. If you can see back here over my shoulder, back there at the bar, that scrunched up face guy in the picture. See him? Yeah. He's one of those, I don't know what you call those in India, what you call those, those idols or those gods, those faces. Maybe it has something to do with the restroom because they hung that picture right next to the restroom. So maybe he's the god of restrooms. Maybe. That's a good point. But his face looks, he looks like from here, from where I'm sitting, and I may be even better, he looks like his face is like this. Like his, his face is scrunched up. Maybe it's the god of constipation in the restroom. <laughs> Could be. Is that the face that you make when you're constipated? Not me, no. Do you ever get constipated? What kind of question is that? This is... <laughs> Not when I go to Indian restaurants, I don't. What about <laughs> the guys up there on the, the, the soffit? The one guy had looks like he has like a, he's he's got the the there's four of them. Number three going from my left, he looks like he's got like a cannonball. <laughs> See, <laughs> he's got like it's like an old fashioned cannonball. I don't know what they have. Why is it called a soffit anyway? I don't know. That's a good question. That's for our other show where we talk about construction terms. Anyways. Uh, I think we're about done here. <laughs> I don't have much of this. Wow, way to way to throw in the towel early. What about this? What about the chairs that are just stacked right behind you? Couldn't they have found a better place, maybe not in the restaurant dining area, to store the extra chairs? I like the way you say stacked. It's very act. You really nailed the act part. <laughs> Say it. Stat act. Stacked. Stat act. Stacked. Stacked. St stacked. <laughs> yeah, they're stacked. You know, you never know when the, the, they're going to, when this empty restaurant's going to need to pull out those extra stacked chairs, right? <laughs> what about the one light fixture that's authentic? And then the other ones are like, I don't even know what they, they, they are. They're from Ikea. <laughs> you think? Have you noticed that when, when you go to restaurants lately and you're drinking water out of a glass, you get to the bottom and you can see that it says Ikea at the bottom? As a plate and glass salesman, do you cry a small tear whenever you see that? <laughs> I do because I know that the, the, the restaurant is likely struggling because they had to go to ikea to get their supplies yeah they're not ikea stuff is not made for the rigors of a restaurant tune in next time where i put a picture behind my head on youtube and we talk about the picture thanks mm -hmm.